What's going on guys? Bangle Gideon here coming back at you with another video and let me tell you, holy crap am I ready for this, alright? I am so friggin' ready, broskies. So, <laughs> we're 2-0 and here's how this next series will go. These two games will be in the same episode. We're gonna play the moments, which we will miss out on some key plays, I'm sure. It'll be, you know, uh, unavoidable. Unavoidable. I, I can't believe I just misspoke there. Uh, however, we're going to miss some big plays. It'll happen. We're going to play the moments. We'll see how it goes. We're going to get these two games in this episode. But first, we're going to go ahead and scout. So, you look at our team. Where are we weakest? Quarterback's a position where we might look to improve. The offensive line, I think, is in a pretty good spot. But we will eventually scout some of those. We have a Carlos Kershaw. Looks like maybe he's related to Clayton there. I'm not sure about the complexion. We could improve at linebacker. I like Ellis Offer, though. I like Antoine Todd. I think we might be fine there. Defensive tackle, we might have to prepare for life after Damon Harrison. I think cornerback is going to be our biggest need, though, and free safety. I think corner and free safety. We have a couple of top cornerbacks. And then at free safety, ooh, out of Texas, I'm intrigued. Julius Manning, 5'11", 23 years old. Great top three skills, but he's a run support guy. We don't really know anything about his own coverage. As Bo Holland isn't great. Jamal Woods. Strong safety is kind of ass. And we'll scout... Uh, or I, I think I said strong safety by mistake. Free safety was kind of ass. We're going to scout strong safety as well. Just to kind of see if there were any that we could convert or move Landon Collins over, etc. But as far as news go, we got Brody Kirkland. He's leaving the rugby pitch and is trying his hands at tight end for Southern Utah. Good for you, Brody. Also, of course, Ben Filia is already in the league. So... That's not an accurate story. We also happen to have some skill points to spend. Avery Moss has a skill point. Morris DuBose and Landon Collins all have skill points. Those might be the only couple on the team. We might as well go run stopper. He's more of a pass rusher. Would be better suited as a defensive end. But we're fine with sticking him at left outside linebacker. He doesn't really play too much. Antoine Todd plays more. Lorenzo Carter plays more. Even Moses Christian's probably going to get in the game more often than Avery Moss would. Landon Collins, as I get a new follower there. Hey, appreciate you. As far as run support goes, he's one of the best safeties in the league. He's got decent speed, good hit power, good tackle, block sheds all right. All right, so we're not going to focus on that. We want to get him better as a zone safety. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade zone coverage. Get that coverage up, hopefully. Plus three to zone coverage, not bad. 89 zone. That is fantastic. Morris DuBose, another interesting situation because we could focus more on man-to-man. -man. I do run a lot of zone. I don't find that man works as well. And his zone is 77. It just doesn't play that well. I think what we're going to do is upgrade his man and try to run more man-focused defensive attacks, if you will. Plus four awareness, plus three play recognition, plus one tackle. So we get no boost to, to man coverage there. Fantastic. Not what I want, clearly. For the rest of the players, I don't think we have any type of upgrade. And we, we shouldn't. No. But we are 2-0. and You've seen the news. You've seen the other records in the division now. Cowboys 1-1, Eagles 1-1, Redskins 0-1-1. Today, we'll be playing the moments against the Chicago Bears at MetLife Stadium. 81 overall to their 83. Let's see what we can do. Play the moments in these two games versus the Bears and the Dolphins. Hopefully, we win both games and we proceed to go undefeated in the following weeks. That'd be awesome. I also should mention, I'm trying out recording in a much higher quality. Hopefully, it's noticeable. Let me know if you, uh, if you like it or you don't care. I, I think it should look better. Hopefully, it does. Roquan Smith looks like a monster, by the way. Oh, my. And of course, we're gonna look at the uh, we're gonna look at the stats of all the players after the game, so you guys will be caught up and uh, you'll be up to date on what's happening. As we're gonna try to stay in coverage, there we do the Roman soldier with the tackle, Roman Pugh. That's a great stop, great sack. And now after the punt, it's time for us to take the lead. Odell Beckham Jr. has been kind of a non-factor in these past couple weeks. It's been hard to get him the ball. It's kind of a weak secondary here today. We're going to take advantage of it as Odell Beckham Jr. Going to run for the first down there. 
Oh, there we go, Saquon. There we go, Saquon. If we could have gotten a block there, that would have been a huge gain. Saquon could have gone to the end zone. We would have finally broken one. That's not good. I feel like he was down. Can we dive? Why are you diving that way? Oh my god, dude. Holy crud. <laughs> no way. You're not going to review it? Okay. That's not a great start to this game. They sent too much heat. I should have changed it up. There's another one wide open. It's the rookie Howard Russell. Laletta, 10 for 17, 102 yards. Of course, no touchdowns thus far, but doesn't mean we can't find one on this drive. Maybe even this play. As long as they don't blitz this play action. We're going to make Barkley block. Howard Russell, one-on-one -on -one down the sideline, might be a good play here. And I, I just took too long to make a decision there. Looking for it to get open. Didn't. Leonard Floyd beats the left tackle. Or right, give me time to throw. There it is. Howard Russell again. We're not quite going to get the first down, but would it make sense to go for it here? Down 10 0, fourth and two from about midfield. I think it would. And they're actually going to get a field goal out of it. So instead of it being 10 0 at the half, it's going to be 13 0 at the half. I feel like the risk was worth it. Let's try to hit over 1,000 likes just because I would like to. Oh, did he fumble? He's absolutely getting cut. I think I joked in one of the last videos that, oh, we're going to cut him. He's getting cut. You can't continue to booth review. Please turn it over. Overturn it. Thank you. All right, big third down. We got to make another stop. We're going to send the heat here on third and 10. I think we should have the, the man coverage ability to match up here. We're going to go ahead and use your Trey Burton. And hopefully it's good enough. And that's a fumble. That's a sack fumble and recovery by Olivier Vernon. We had the rookie Nat DeGear on the blitz. The cornerback blitz. He gets to the quarterback. And we're suddenly in this. Third down. We got it. Got to get a first. I, I, I double tapped X because he wasn't snapping the freaking ball, bro. Crud. That's a dumb interception. That's a stupid interception. That just shouldn't happen. Just snap the ball when I press X the first time. That's so frustrating. Big field goal. Why would I kick a field goal here on fourth and four? We're down by 19. The team is awful in simulation. I'll tell you that much. They are terrible. I'm looking at Odell. Give me something here, Odell. B press. There's the slant. First down. We gotta move into the hurry up. I mean, we're down 19 to nothing. I can't even do it and play the moments. And it's another, it's another fourth down. I gotta go for it. Can the CPU, like, be any less competent? I'm not sure it's possible. We're going to streak Odell and Evan Ingram. Just hope somebody gets open. That's really all I can do. Hope somebody gets open. There's Odell. It's, it's a tight window to fit it into. Can't get it. It's going to be an interception by Kyle Fuller. Odell looked open over the top there. I, there's not much else I can say. Dude, no one is getting open. No one is open on any one of my dropbacks with Kyle Laletta. I'm trying to find something. Everyone is covered. It's, it's extremely frustrating. I'm sure you get, you know, like, oh, turn the sliders up. Dude, when we play better teams, it gets hard. <laughs> Nobody gets open. There's not enough time. It's check down city if we want to do anything. And even then, it's not always open. The CPU in play the moments. Oh, my God. They've done nothing. It's been just deplorable. There's Evan Ingram, though. Thankfully, holds on. There's not really a chance here down 22. There just isn't. There's Howard Russell, though. He's going to drop the ball. That's so frustrating. The defensive backs in this game on the CPU, they play the ball so quickly. We're going to go into replay mode because I feel like I have to at this point. Watch this. Watch this. At this point, it's open, right? I decide to throw the ball right here look where the cornerback is who makes a play on the ball it's just unreal to me how we can't complete that it might just be best to take one-on-one -on -one shots and hope we can get in the end zone before the two-minute warning i'm gonna throw that though it's odell beckham jr he gets the first down at least 
We had maybe a nice one-on-one -on -one with Howard Russell. I don't trust it right now, even though he has ridiculously high spectacular catch. We're just going to take the first down. I need somebody to make a play. I really do. There's Odell. Oh my god. Like, are you seeing the, the, the plays on the ball by these cornerbacks here? I know Kyle Fuller is at least decent, but and I, I hate to complain the entire time, although clearly I don't because I don't stop. But can I not start, please? All right, here we go. Watch this. Watch this replay. I'm watching Odell here. Can we can get over there. Is this not beating press? And look at when I decided to throw the ball right here. He's by him. He's by him. We throw up the ball. It's just not a great throw. And it's a it's an amazing play by Kyle Fuller somehow. And if it wasn't Kyle Fuller, it was going to be Eddie Jackson making the play. This is a bad first game. Let's check out the stats. Kyle Oletta was terrible. 25 for 49. Zero touchdowns, three interceptions. I threw two of them personally but i i don't know I, like mitchell trubisky didn't throw one i feel like i had open receivers when i threw those picks so sorry as far as fumbles go kyle oletta coughed one up mitch trubisky i just i guess he did in simulation saquon 11 rushes 33 yards receiving certainly shepherd led our team in catches as uh, well as yardage it looks like odell six for 77 blocking who allowed sacks? Will Hernandez and Evan Ingram? Could have been worse. Norris Jenkins had a ton of tackles. Tackles for loss. A number of players. Sacks. Nat DeGear. Roman Pugh. Interceptions. Two for Kyle Fuller. One for Danny Trevathan. Oh, I actually threw three of them. That's right. Forced fumbles for Nat DeGear. When I double tapped X was the other one. So that, that was great. I loved that. That was a fun game. So that game was pure pain. Not really much else I can say. We we're gonna drop to two and one. It's not the worst. It's Tyree Dutka. He looks pretty good actually. Back to the safeties. Tyrus Charlton in the fifth round could be all right. Add him to our draft board. Let's look at the cornerbacks. Donald Carr out of Bama. He looks very good. Five eleven. What about Rayshon Hickman? Ooh, B plus zone, B press. We're gonna watch him for now. I know we run a primarily, uh, primarily a man system, at least in simulation we do, uh, based on our scheme. I should say three, four, multiple. I run a lot of zone in game. B plus zone coverage out of the draft is awesome. I will say that. Any new news stories other than we got de uh, demolished? Draft stories. Uh, nothing crazy. Nothing new. Let's see what we can do against the one and two Miami Dolphins. We're a much better overall. Please, can we do something? Who doesn't love a big third down? Let's get after it. We've already, we already have a turnover. That's cool. We'll figure out who, did, uh, who got that at the end of the game. But let's go ahead and use her Lorenzo Carter on Kenyon Drake. She has on block and release of sorts. It's gonna throw it up. It's a lob. Landon Collins makes a play on the ball. We have room to work with. Decent blocking. We're going to spin back. Landon Collins. Oh, maybe one spin move too many. But LC21, the humble 21 with the pick and the huge return at zone time. Who is the star cornerback for the Dolphins? Do they have Mick Fitzpatrick as a corner? Would that be who that is? Over the middle, though. Howard Russell. He's down inside the five. Kyle Aletta, 8 for 11, 110, and a touchdown. Not a bad start. Of course, you don't like to see the interception. But it's not the worst thing. I've thrown a pick. I... It's a great tackle by Kyle Aletta. I, j I never expect them to drop back in coverage. I never saw him. I was looking at Odell on the slant the entire time, waiting for him to beat press. I throw a lot of interceptions when I try to force the ball to Odell. That's, that's something I've noticed. Third and seven, though. Play action. It is. And that's going to be beating the rookie cornerback, Morris Dubose. This is why I don't like man. Too many routes are way too effective against it. 
Right, let's patrol a nice little hook zone here. That's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. It's picked off. Janoris Jenkins. That's one of the things that makes man great. He's all over him. But a lot of ups and downs for my liking. As our offense continues to struggle. We are on the board though. 7 nothing. And we're taking over here in the third quarter. Third and one. Oh my god, there have been seven turnovers so far. That is terrible. Let's get the ball to Saquon. We need a big block from Erickson though. There's Saquon. There's Saquon. Pull him over. Let's go, baby. Give me something on first and ten. I wanted Howard Russell. We're going to go to Odell. Decent throw on the run. Odell's going to be down at the six. Kyle Aletta, another game where he has some decent yardage. And, uh, unfortunately, an interception. As he has a knack for throwing those, it looks like. But there we go. Odell Beckham Jr. And tackled way after the, the touchdown. Are we kidding here? Odell's into the end zone, though. And he is going to hit the whip. And the Michael Jackson. All right. I know. I've seen that before. All right. Inside the five. 0 oh, one trap to Saquon Barkley. Tried to jump over the line. We're actually going to dial this up again. Second and goal from the two. I just need a second of blocking here. We'll be able to jump over the line. Come on, Saquon. We didn't get it. Oh, he's breaking tackles. Saquon Barkley, unbelievable. And he's riding the horse all the way into the end zone. The bucking Bronco. Saquon Barkley with one of the greatest runs you will ever see. Inside the five. Wow. That was actually incredible. Fourth and five. Let's make a stop. And that should be a pick. Oh my goodness, it wasn't. Landon Collins came in. Came in. Comes in. I, I, I didn't know what I wanted to say there. Breaks it up. Uh, geez, I need to go to uh, an English class apparently. It's not usually like me. I hate when I misspeak in videos because uh, it makes me sound like an idiot. All right, they're going for it on fourth down. Fourth and one, actually. We are going to call a man here. We're going to pinch the defensive line. We got our big boys in. Dalvin Tomlinson, Damon Harrison, Roman Pugh, Olivier Vernon. Let's shut it down. It's going to be a pass. And it's going to be wide open. He takes a huge hit from Obi Melifonwu, but Levine Toilolo is going to get the first and more. They got points on the board. And they are right back on offense. 24 to 6 is the lead. It is fourth and two. This looks like a run. It is. Breaks a Lorenzo Carter tackle. Pass another hit stick. Kalen Balage first down. Morris Dubose wraps him up. We had him behind the line. Wanted the turnover. Couldn't get it. And how often are the Dolphins going to score here? But that is the football game. 24 to 13 is your final. In, in what has been a weird episode, to say the least. It has been a weird episode. We did manage to get a win, though. We're going to improve to 3-1. and one. It's a pretty good shot of uh, Howard Russell there. I hate losing. We got shut out badly in Game 1. Kyle Aletta in simulation is terrible. One touchdown, two interceptions. I didn't... Did I throw one of those? I don't think so. I think it was all sim. Rushing Saquon Barkley, two touchdowns. One fantastic run. He got 100 yards, but not a great average there. Receiving, Odell managed to get a touchdown. As did... That was it. That was it. Anyone over 100 yards? Nope. Blocking. We didn't really allow sacks today. That was pretty cool. Defensively, Navarro Bowman had a ton of tackles. ton of tackles for this entire Dolphins team. And we had one tackle for loss from Olivier Vernon. Quarterback sacks, Damon Harrison. Patrick Wright... And Olivier Vernon, we got after the quarterback a little bit today. As Landon Collins got a pick. And Janoris Jenkins got a pick. And Lorenzo Carter got a pick. Three interceptions here for this Giants team. Kenny Vaccaro, Hookham Horns, forced two fumbles and, and recovered one of them. And no defensive touchdowns. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Next week, we have the Philadelphia Eagles. And uh, an upgrade point for Olivier Vernon. And Morris DuBose, actually. So that is fantastic. But that is going to be for another time. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.